going to go with the TCSS uh, blade holder. I already got the TCSS uh, PCB wired up and run in there so I can just slide this all the way down. Right now I got it very close to matching up. It's just getting it farther down right there. See? Got to slide in and now it's sliding into place into that slot and boom there it is so now I got the TCSS blade holder in place now this is open here this is going to fit over the top right here but I'm going to end up drilling out one of these holds for a blade retention screw so right now I need to check where one of these marks is right here there I got some 632nd screws right now I'm looking at either a 1 quarter or 3 16 632nd Allen screw all right to do this I'm going to wind it up with the hole mark there's right here just work it slowly. Right now I'm not through through to the TCSS blade holder yet. I'm just making sure that it's holding to the side here. I'm just working my way down. Went straight through. So, got that hole drilled out. I'm going to remount this hole, which is not a whole much, lot bigger than it originally was. And then I'm going to grab my tap right here, tighten this down, slide this in. Get that turned the right way. Get nice and snugged up. So my next step is I'm going to be putting this on in place, lining it up. I'm going to make sure my hole lines up here. I'm going to put the two other set screws in their holes so I don't mix them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the hole there, line it up completely, tighten up the set screw over here, and the set screw over here, it's nice and snug, and now I'm going to come down with the tap right here and thread it through. So I want this to apply straight up and down. So just screwing it in gently and slowly. This is soft enough material where I really don't need um, threading oil. Now if I'm working with stainless or some harder metals, I'd really need it for this. But I got some really good taps. So. is already gone all the way through. Just gonna finish working this all the way down and then reverse this. And you could do this with a drill but it's you're more likely to end up destroying the threads using a drill to tap it out. One of the best ways of tapping is using a lathe. Okay, 
flip this around. All right, so let's see if this 632nd is the right one. Should be pretty close. Get some of that the shavings out of there. So now I got a little set screw right there. It comes in pretty good. I can give it a good tighten. The next step in the in the process will be cutting um, a piece of carbon fiber to fit in there for my switch housing and everything. I might reuse some of the plastic from the chassis piece and just slide it in there. I just have to completely take everything apart and get this trimmed down. So I have a little while before I have to progress on this build anyway. I'm still waiting for the CFX to install on this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.